Welcome to the next premium accessory video. In this particular section we will look at the stamp starter kit. With this kit you will be able to create your own rubber stamps from any of the 50 bonus designs that will be unlocked with this kit or indeed with your own designs. It's a complete kit so everything is included that you will need with one exception. You will need a deep cut blade for this. More on that later. First, let's take a look inside the box at what you can expect to find. The first thing that I find is the ink pad. Great if you've never done any rubber stamping before, you don't need to go and find one of those. Next is the activation card. This is what is going to unlock the bonus designs in Canvas Workspace. Then you will see an acrylic block. This is what we mount the rubber stamp onto to make an impression. And then we have various bits of documentation. There are some notices from Brother there, and also the full instructions, taking you right from identifying the different elements through to a full step-by-step -step of how to perform the cutting operation with this kit. It comes in various languages, so you can discard any that you don't need. And then of course we have the stamp sheets. They're a flexible silicon and a good size. So you will be able to create a number of different stamps with this kit. I'll pop everything back in the box and then I will move on to show you how to register your kit in your online account using the activation card. To begin, I log into my account on canvasworkspace.brother.com. In this instance, I start a new project, however I can simply go straight to my account by clicking on the um, account name at the top right of the screen. Mine says Gentleman Crafter, as that's what I've chosen as my username. When you arrive in your account, there will be an option bottom right of the four available saying premium function activation. Click on that and you will then be presented with an activation code box. That's where you'll type your activation code. Now I already have mine activated as you can see here. Also at the top left of the screen icons will appear for each kit that you have registered. Next I'll show you the 50 bonus designs that will be unlocked once you've activated this kit. They will appear in a separate folder on your pattern browser named Stamp. There are various frames, icons, flowers, florals, moustaches and sentiments that you can choose from. Of course you can create your own. I have chosen to load up a moustache. I'll give it a name in the project title box and then click download to transfer it to my machine. If you are using the download to PC method don't forget to right click and save link as. I'm using the Wi-Fi transfer method so I click on that icon and Canvas Workspace tells me that that's ready to um, access from my machine. So I will head over there now and I will just show you here, as I didn't show you earlier, these are the pictorial steps that the um, instructions give you to follow. There is one note there, however, just to mention that we need the deep cut blade for this particular technique. The settings recommended are between six and six and a half on the blade holder itself. I've gone for six. I remove the protective sheet from my cutting mat and peel away one of the covers from the silicon sheet and place this on my cutting mat.
Brother advised to use a new or fairly heavily sticky scanning um, cutting mat. This is because it needs a lot of strength to hold that material in place. Brother recommend that you leave the other sheet on top of the um, stamp sheet. However, I have found that removing at least part of it helps with getting a good cut. We then load the mat. And I'm going to retrieve the pattern. There he is, the little tash. And I'll move it to an appropriate place on the mat to make the cut with. I click OK and then the tools icon to check that I have the right pressure. I've also reduced the speed to 1. I can now perform the cut as I normally would. Once complete, unload the mat and remove your stamp. This gets mounted onto your acrylic block. You will then ink up the stamp And finally you would use the acrylic block to transfer that design onto your cardstock or whatever you are stamping onto. And there we go. A wonderful impression with my own custom rubber stamp. Fabulous! Just before I sign off for this particular video I'd like to leave you with a couple more tips. First, choose bold designs. Intricate patterns just won't work with this material. Next, perform a test cut. This is essential to find the right balance of cutting speed and pressure. Avoid the edges of the silicon sheet, and by that I mean getting too close to the edges. This could risk pulling up um, the design. Check your settings. Make sure that you've got the blade depth and cutting pressure correct. And finally, don't forget you can use those 50 bonus designs for things other than rubber stamps. Use them for cutting vinyl or cardstock, chipboard or shrink plastic. Whatever you would like to do.